So going over this email someone sent me, one of my subscribers sent me, they want to know how can they regain the power back after doing all that begging and pleading and crying and all that stuff like that. So um, this is that video. Now let's waste no time to jump into the video. Now when you're doing the begging and pleading and doing all that crying and stuff like that, to understand that's natural. It's natural because it's called the fear of loss. You have a, a fear of losing something. But not you don't know that that person you know, mentally checked out on you for whatever reason. Only they can tell you. They don't check that on you. So this is how what you can do. First, stop all that. Because it's not going to do any good. See, the more you beg and plead and you know do all these nice stuff and jump through all these little monkey ass hoops for this person, they don't care. They're not there. They mind gone. So the best thing for you to do, stop. Just stop, you know, um, that's the first thing you can do to start regaining your power back. Stop all that. Then what you want to do is become independent. I mean, the more you don't need that person, the more that person wants you. It's about what's it's nature is set up that way. The more you don't want something, the more you get it. Kind of like rich people. They get richer because they are already rich. They're not working for money. They're just working just to be working, whatever, whatever they, that they do. But what I'm trying to tell you is this. When you don't need them and you self-reliant and you independent and you don't need them for absolutely nothing, they'll want you. Now, this goes in business, whatever area of your life that you want to put it in. When you don't need it, there it is. Really, I'm telling y'all how to operate from a position of power. So when you don't need it, good. Another thing, walk away. Think. If you have to beg, plead, cry, jump through hoops for someone to stay in your life, they don't respect you. And you don't want to be with nobody who don't respect you. And you don't want to be with nobody where you have to jump through all these little monkey hoops and stuff like you some kind of circus animal. That's not the move. That's why I say on this channel, you love yourself. You know, you think like this. It's me or them. And I'm going to choose me every time because my happiness, my self being, my mental health is way more important than trying to win somebody back in my life. Mm -mm. They want to leave out, you know, they want to leave. Let them go. Treat yourself like you the prize. Carry yourself like you the prize. People treat you how you allow them to treat you. If you treat yourself and carry yourself like you don't have no respect for yourself, don't be surprised when someone else start you know, treating you like trash because you treat yourself like trash. Self-love is, is the most important thing. Now, another thing you can do is um, besides walking away and just saying effort, and stuff like that go out there find something that you're good at doing it don't matter what it is you know what it is some of y'all have hidden talents go find what that is let that pain push you to another level and find what that hidden talent is and develop and work on that talent and you know and just let it push you to the next level relationships like i said is a small thing your goals and purpose, dreams and ambitions, that what matter most. You only got a short time on this planet. Use it wisely. But I know a lot of people don't want to hear this. Y'all want to know how to get someone back that don't want you or this person don't jump into a new relationship with someone else and what can I do? Absolutely nothing. That's what you do. Focus on yourself, better yourself at all times. You're the most important person in any relationship because it's just you. Now, with that being said, this is another little short video. Um, if you need to get in contact with me, you can send me an email or you can just text me. You know, when then you text me, we go through the steps and set up a time to talk. I know it's a tough, tough time going on and things just don't look about right. You know, but 
keep your head up, stay prayed up, and you'll be okay. Trust me. Now, with that being said, peace on God.